time as we have looked for an angle on how to approach the conversation of Kenya University politics for the longest time, but now we have it. I can assume safely that there is no strike that you missed. Were you ever arrested? What do you mean? I mean, a, a policeman, a, okay, a, 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 un, a uniformed comrade escorting you to their cells briefly <laughs> to, to, to calm you down so that you guys can talk. Our panel today, a first of many, consists of Don Anaclet, a former congressman and deputy speaker of SOM. I'm working with certain uh, a political party as a strategist. And uh, when I, when, when, during the interviews, I asked these guys a simple question. Does the candidate want to be sworn in or he wants to win? <laughs> then uh, we have Esther Getaranga, the president of WOSWA, that is the Women's Students Welfare Association. So when you're forming a team, you categorically put a beautiful lady in the team. She's not there because she can lead, ama she's courageous, ama she's what, because she's pretty. So that you can call them when I see us at or Tambiwa Sumia Chim. No, Panya to politicians. Sokopia Nakeli inspiration, who before becoming one of Kenya's top transformational speakers, was a chief campaigner, kingmaker, and the chairperson of the mentorship program at Kenyatta University. Africa cannot move forward if you still have people who smell their armpit to decide whether to bathe or not. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Frida Mungare, who is the current vice chairperson of the University of Nairobi Student Association, UNSA. We know a lot happens in campus and we orient them. In first year, that's where we come in and ensure that uh, during orientation process, you're telling them this is what happens head on, clearly. This is what you happens. Tell you will tell them. You will tell them. Tell them and you want them. Si this conversation offers a stark contrast between two generations of university leadership. What they call a strike is not a strike. They, 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 they brand demonstration as a strike. It is us that experience what is worth calling a strike. Please allow me to give a special shout out to Dr. Babazuri for his contribution in setting this up. I'm Dr. Kingori, and here's another reason to stay subscribed to our channel. Come on, how you subscribe? Now's a good time to hit subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. Don, you said something I couldn't wait to start our conversation with. Kwanzaa, you said you don't like good people. Why are you a good person? Why do you hate good people? I think hate is a very strong term. You just don't like me. Uh, I think maybe you'd say dislike. The, 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 what, what, what I meant was not that I hate a particular group of people, but I think that the world today is uh, construed in a manner that if you are good, generally being good simply uh, is construed to mean weak. Mm -hmm. And yes, I... Uh, now, now, when it comes to weak, I dislike weak people. You dislike weak people? Yes. Mm. Your, actual, your, actual, your actual words were, why are you good? Exactly. Why are you good? And you don't like good people? No, I don't like good people. You shouldn't be good. Why? One, you shouldn't know who you are. That's number one. Number uh -huh. two, you should be courageous. Uh -huh. Number three, when you combine the two, Mm -hmm. You'll realize you're not a good person. Uh, you left UN in which year? Well, uh, I was in UN between 2011 and 2016. 2011 and 2016? Yes. Uh, campus leadership, your story in uh, leadership, does, do you start as a prefect in high school or this park? Yeah, no, I, 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 actually, actually, I actually started as a, as a prefect in primary school, became a captain in high school. I joined the university, and luckily enough, I was, uh, I got when Sonu, the defunct Sonu, was just uh, uh, reeling up from the new, the, the post Osiany era. You know, after Osiany left, there was a lot of uh, problems that came in, and then there was one year with no, no Sonu. So when we came in, Sonu was just coming in, it was, it was, it was a child. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we got into campus, and luckily or unluckily, I don't know, I think it's unluckily, we got into politics the following day. Okay. Ah, sawa sawa. Uh, Frida, your story starts as a prefect in high school. Ama There's a reason I want to get into Another this. <laughs> eh, eh, starts as a prefect. Ama is park in Kushika in uh, campus. No, I should say right from primary. I've been a school president and elected, not appointed. Uh, school uh, president. Yes, a school president. Because elected. back in primary, it was the yes. first. In, they, they had actually introduced the concept. 
So uh, I ran and I knew the tricks of politics. Do you know my mother used to fund my campaigns through giving me sweets to take to my pupils? In, oh, on, you on learned school. bribery at yes, a tender age. Primary. Yeah. So I had already known the tricks of the game. Mm -hmm. I, ran in, I, I, I ran for the position. I won against three other gentlemen and a lady. So we were five candidates in total. I won. Then mm -hmm. getting to high school, upon a cut down Kidogo because the parents were like, you need to focus on the books. Yes, because yes, I mean, yes. I wait, but they didn't actually push me that hard. Mm -hmm. I doubt if I, I would have actually gotten into campus. So okay. they had to be a bit tight. Yes. But of course, I, I joined for, for Form 1 and I immediately wanted to be a, a school captain. Yes, with yes, With that yes. Kiereri as a Form 1. Mm -hmm. And for seniors are like, tone down young girl, you know. So I had you to wanted be to be a school captain in Form right 1. Right in Form 1. Because I actually challenged Form 4. I was, I was never bullied, I yeah. should say. Yeah. Immediately yeah. I got into school. Marking territory, I've been this huge all my life. Mm -hmm. I, it's not as if I've, I've been tiny and grown. I've looked this big. Kwani, how small are people in school? <laughs> <carry on. laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, of course, I, I should say uh, in high school, turned down Kidogo. But right when I got into campus, and of course, I, I always dreamt of going into UON. Oh. So UON was a dream university. And once I got there, right from first year, immediately I ran for an overall representation. We have a common course. Mm -hmm. So our common course brings every other student from different departments. I ran for that position and told them I want to, to be your representative, overall representation. And you campaigned? I campaigned. I, I had actually known wise, wise men. In UN, we have wise men. He will define that for us. <laughs> so he has I different definitions. New mm -hmm. wise men immediately. And mm -hmm. of course, they spotted the light in me and they were like, this one, she can, she can do it. I sought their support. They came, they, they came in handy. Actually, Gitaranga, that's when we first met. Mm. We met her to come and Mkutano Kule in the cafeterias, mm. ran for the position against other three other gentlemen and, and, and a certain lady. Mm. I won. Then I got a deputy out of the three other gentlemen who I, I had beaten. Mm. So I, I became their representative. First year, second year, ran into an, a professional body representation, which is called Nuarsa, University of Nairobi. At Student Association. Okay. So I represented them as a vice chairperson because you run individually. Then later on, by third year, I was fitted. I said, at least I've climbed the, the, the leadership uh, ladder in mm. the university. Mm. I wanted to run for the faculty representation, which is okay. UNSA, the okay. former SONU, as uh, Don has the former mentioned. Sonu. Yes, the former SONU. They okay. rebranded UNSA now. Okay. So I ran for UNSA position. He believes you're soft now. Yes, it, yes, he actually believes that. But okay. I, I think I'll confirm it's 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 a, it's a dif it's different from whatever he thinks. You are soft or you're decent now? I should say decent. Decent is the right term. Uh, he has a lot of problems with that statement mm -hmm. to turn the <laughs> profile. Yeah. Kelly, uh, you are you credit yourself as a senior campaigner and kingmaker, Kenyatta University. Where does this start? And First how all, ugly does it get? Yes, it gets very ugly, and I'll come to that. Before that, let me add a word to what my brother said. Mm -hmm. He talked of him not liking good people. He doesn't like people who go to church on Sunday at your corner. No, 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 he did, not, he did not define it. He did so not that say is, that That's that your personal definition. No, he you will see, confirm it. A good person mm -hmm. can be described in different... That is the moral aspect. Mm -hmm. But my definition of a good person, which I also don't like... You also don't like good people. Yes, there are kind of good people that I know I don't like. Now, when you interview a machetani, no, the thing is this, wait, on. wait, wait. <laughs> the, you see, let yeah. me tell you something. And I can tell you for a fact, and mm. I'm talking out of experience. Yes. A yes person mm -hmm. is a good person. Mm -hmm. And that is someone that is headed to destruction. Okay. Are you getting that? Mm -hmm. It's actually an insignia of a weak mind. Mm -hmm. If you are a yes person mm. that cannot say no when they are supposed to say and when, when uh, uh, they say to themselves, but they mm -hmm. refuse, that, that they, they, they block that statement from escaping their lips. Mm -hmm. That is a weak person. Are you getting that? Yes. A, someone that can be swayed to any direction is a weak person. It's a good person, yes, to please people. But there is no way you can please people and fail to be an enemy to yourself. Right? Now, let's get back to Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. Now, when I go to KU, uh, in those days, I was very mouthy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yes. And of course, I had that, that air of humor. Uh, so people liked, you know, coming around me. Some of these people were even in other years, but they would come. They just liked, you know, the kind of hour around me. I would make them laugh and all kinds of things. So these people realized that I used to speak well. So during campaigns, some of them were vying. So they told me, Kelly, you know what's happening? I'd like you to come and help us do the campaign. So in those days, we'd go for door-to-door -door campaign. And we'd go for, you know, we'd go to lecture halls. With time, we know very well 
by mile two, we know, we know the classes very well and the big, big ones. Mm. So mm. when we get there, I used to be the icebreaker. I get there and clear my throat very well, look at them lugubriously and mention some few gigantic words mm. that will grab their attention and that is all. Mm. Then I now introduce the, the no, person. actually don't have meaning, those words. Okay. Huh? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, oh, but carry on. What, what did you say? Those words those don't, don't have meaning. Don't have meaning. Those are not English the, words. The big gigantic ones don't, don't actually have the, meaning, more often than not. Which, what do you mean? So, no, 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 Sour, sour, sour. <laughs> I understand. The yes. abuju buju is okay. Carry yes. on. It's, it's very good for conversation, but and there. <laughs> so, discuss, eh. that's how I used to help people campaign. Yes. And through that, mm. I became so popular in mm -hmm. helping people campaign. Mm. I didn't want to vie personally, yes. but this time I was forced into leadership. Yes. And it started uh, with the chairperson of the Homer Bay County because I come from the Homer Bay County. Mm. So it was organized because they were going to do the election for the chairperson and all the officials for the county. Mm. I'll get it that. Mm. So they invited people and I was called to go and be the MC for the event. Yes. So I went there prepared to MC, the to event. host the event. Yes. But I didn't know there was a team that had sat somewhere and concluded that Ezekiel is going to be our leader. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I'm here trying to bring people together, trying to create you know, that kind of a charming environment and someone picks the microphone and says that, you know what's happening? We want you to leave this place. You're going to be, you're going to be on the ballot. Mm -hmm. And of course, I, 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 I uh, support, I had support all over. And some people, there's a gentleman that was very sure he's going to, going to take the position mm -hmm. uh, because of the love that people had for me was forced to take bath in the rain. Mm -hmm. I don't want to explain further, but people mm -hmm. laid hands on him. Mm -hmm. and. <laughs> It was a very bad experience. I became a leader. Mm. That is how I kept on moving from one position to the other. Okay. Yes. Get, get around, um, how do you get to these leadership positions in the spirit of the bad men? So let's hear how you can already smell how tricky this is. Like, how is it for you to get to a leadership position? Of course, Nigeria, there is a lot. Frida Jatwambia will get to it. But how do you get to these positions? I think my journey is a bit different from everyone else here. Ah. Myself, leadership didn't start at school. Mm. Mine started in church. Ah, Mama I am a Catholic, and yes. my family happened to be very deep in the church. So right from wale dancers wa PMC, tulukona ito wa PMC, wale wa kudance kwa mass, mm. I was elected the leader there as early as class two. And then, as early as class two. Yes. 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 And then up the ladder to Kakuja Junior Youth and Nimekua chairperson wa youth the, the whole of Nakuru Dinari. I was actually the first female chairperson. Yeah. And then when I came to campus, I didn't have anything like politics in my head. I just knew there is leadership because mm. I've been in leadership, mm. but not really politics. I just thought Nitabaki took Wakanisa yes. or maybe in the corporate. For me, leadership was about being a CEO or a manager somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. But then I came to campus and then there was the first event that was organized by women students. It mm. was the current femicide, but back in 2019. Yes. I went to that event and then uh, I was dressed in a funny way. Current kuba... femicide, like uh, the... Yes, there was another saga of femicide in yes, 2019. Yes, 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 yes. And there was a very big event organized there. <coughs> so like Frida said, I liked working with wise men a lot. Wale when any political influencers. Mm. I was always with them. Ni merudi kwa kwa rumiangu sanane usiku because walikuwa kwa kafteria wakidiscuss and I also want to be there. Yes. Now they are talking about political books and I'm like, ah, you nigani. So I also borrow and I go and read. <coughs> yes. So I got popularity very early in first year. So as soon, you cannot vie in University of Nairobi when you are first year. You cannot? Yes. Uh -huh. So mentioned. as soon as I got in second year, uh, it was during COVID-19. I didn't even had a, have a smartphone. I was staying with my brother, Poivi Kiambu, and then a friend of mine told me, Utani votia Warsaw elections. I was like, ah, Warsaw elections are happening. I also want to take part. 
and I was like, aha, what is the qualification? That very day, I sent my application. My application. I went to the studio to see kwa na anything official. I just bought tie ya 200 bob na shati ya 500 ni kind of studio and kapiga picha. Mm. I sent to a few friends using my sister-in-law's phone. Mm -hmm. And then that was it. I didn't I didn't do much of a campaign. I didn't pay people. Jote yo pesa sikuwa nayo. And but, that's how... Yes, and that that was it. But people, those who knew me at school, they were like, hi, ya gitaranga anavai. So mm -hmm. the poster went round and round and round. Gioni, I didn't want to look at the elections. I was like, he election, enyata mi mwenye sijajipigia kura. I'm sure I'm not going to win. I've not even told my family because what I checka Gioni. Mm. Then I was told Sasa Jushiki Simu, they sent me a text Angalia Facebook. You then I checked won. Nikaona congratulations Gitaranga. So that's how you came, you managed to come on top in this League of Sinners. Um not really in the League of Sinners, but then uh, <laughs> in the field of power. Sina is laughing. <laughs> in the field of power. You cannot afford to be to present a very nice face. We'll break that down. Uh, you cannot show a nice face. Namali unatoka mtotomisa to transition to that. Uh, you said something that there's a difference between uh, winning and being sworn in, right? Look at how easy she won. Thank you so much. Ah, I think I think. For, for, for the past, since 2013, when I joined the national politics, I've always wanted to explain this. And now you've, you've, got, you've got me so perfectly. There is a huge difference between winning and being sworn in. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, I'm working with certain uh, a political party as a strategist. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I, when I, when, during the interviews, I asked these guys a simple question. Does the candidate want to be sworn in or he wants to win? <laughs> <laughs> then, 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 then everyone was like, was like, uh, what, 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 what do you mean? Mm. <laughs> if, if he just wants to win, me, mm. me, I'm not here. I don't want to work with someone who wants to win. I want to work with someone who wants to be sworn in. <laughs> and what I mean is simple. And that, just not in Kenya. Even global politics. Mm. Your aim, every, everything is supposed to be on being sworn in. Mm. Not being... Ingine ya kuwa declared winner and all that, that those Yo processes nikelele. only are supposed to help you get sworn in. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Simple. So, mine as, as, as the don is that if I'm working with you, as I'm your political strategist, and oh, so don't misquote me, and please, for the viewers, uh, my, my, my methods of, of doing things are not very appreciated by the church and the religious community. Mm -hmm. However, they deliver results. The good news is you can win through prayers, but carry on. I will, I'll, get, I'll, I'll have that discussion with that candle, but I don't believe in it. Mm. Now, back to being sworn in and, and the politics of winning, we, we always get it wrong. And being that I'm one guy who, was in, who has served the Orange Democratic Movement Party for quite a, quite a amount of time, most of the individuals, and I want to make this very clear without fear of contradiction, that that is one reason that these guys have terribly failed, not being able to understand the difference between wanting to win or winning, and being so in. Always the focus is on winning. How I wish that the focus had always been on getting so in. So tell us the difference. The difference is, at the end of the day, someone who wants to win wants to follow the correct path. And the path that my sister here followed was that, was one that sometimes it gets you to being so in, but not more often. Mm -hmm. so, so that is one path to being so in. But more often than not, there are other parts. And those other parts are way shorter than this other one. Are way shorter. Yes. Uh, do you believe uh, what the Dawn is saying? Well, I believe in both. It just takes um, a switch. You realize, ah, this one is not working now. You shed off the, the, the other skin, then have now the actual skin. So in, even in campus politics, before we talk national politics, mm -hmm. you have to have two skins. Yes, you have two skins. Yeah. There is now the clean you, then now whatever it takes for mm -hmm. you to be sworn in. What does that mean? Takes. Well, I should tell you... Um, Give us like an account, like uh, you've won, uh, you have gone through that. Have you gotten to the brink of choosing a different skin? What's the experience? Well, luckily, I think I've just... Uh, I'm one person who people, my friends and my family, tend to think that uh, you've just been born lucky. Because I should say I've never uh, been in an election... Uh, 
candidacy and lost. That is one thing I've, uh, that I, I, maybe I, I, I accredit to myself. Mm -hmm. So of course, um, in my context in campus politics, I should tell you there is something, uh, they, they term it as pro-admin and they pro-what? Pro-students. Okay, mm -hmm. well, um, oh, now in, in these two, uh, in these two uh, definitions, where do you shed off now the other skin and have your actual skin? Mm -hmm. When you realize that you're competing against a pro-admin candidate, candid, candidates, then of course you'll have to now, now unleash, unleash the, the actual tactics that will have, to, will have you win the position and to be sworn in. You have to be either pro-admin or pro-student. Yes. There, there you cannot that. win us both. You cannot win us both. You can never win us both. In but campus? We have circumstances where a pro-admin student wins. We have circumstances where a pro-student... Then that, 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 that has to have been a pretender because we have people who are pro-students. <coughs> pro it's an, not, 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 not actually pro-students, they are pro-admin. Then, of course, it's until they get that position, wanawaosha nini kama wanafunzi sana, it's like an awakilisha, the administration, how awakilisha nani? Wanafunzi. So it's such a switch of character and you're wondering, this is the person we elected as a pro-students a pro, a pro person. So actually they've changed, they're not even our peleki malalamishi yenu. Okay, yes. so there's no way at the never administration be, and the one. students are united, yes. nothing never. like that. There's nothing like that. Okay, Kelly, at what point do, does a person like you weka yesu kando? Unaweka yesu kando at what point? Kama wewe, I'm shocked that you can actually go, um, because if you knew the definition, Don's definition of he does not like bad guys, you would not have sided with him. But for the sake of your question, you kwa siyasa ya campus, unaweka yesu kando. Where do you balance between kwa mini, mungu, na siyasa sasa kaende? You know what's happening? Don't... Uh... Uh, don't blend me with this definition mm -hmm. of a bad person. It means something else. And from what he's saying, he's actually endorsing crookedness from what he said. Don't you? Say yes. Uh, <laughs> no, I think, I think we, are, we, are, we, are, we are on the same space but different platforms. We are on the same. On that, on that definition. <laughs> yes, on that definition. Yes. Because the, my aspect... Is that you're not even a good person, but a nice, being a nice person, uh, uh, over, over nice person. Now, the thing is this. We have water, which is H2O. Are you getting that? You add oxygen, which is good. We are actually breathing oxygen right now. You add oxygen to the question, you come up with hydrogen peroxide, which is poisonous. Are you getting that? So too much of a good thing becomes poisonous in no aspect of life. Niceness is good, but if you extrapolate, it becomes detrimental to your own life. Anything, no matter who you are. Even the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, I've just forgotten the, the chapter, I'm going to check it after this, that don't be too good and don't be too evil. Are you getting that? So it's, it's all about striking a balance. I'm not trying to endorse that someone should now leave this place and go to exercise evil. No, that's not the case. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say, when you talk of putting Jesus down so that you can exercise something, mm -hmm. if he doesn't, if, if you've been using him before and he doesn't follow you, how sure are you that you're going to come back? So the thing is this. It's a matter of constructing your bearing in life. If you have chosen to get things through the crooked means, please, Go that path. Stick to it. You know very well katambe. But if you're following the path of God, stick to that. When diplomacy fails, then violence becomes duty. Thank you. Let's talk about that duty. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you balance violence? Like, is it necessary? How many you can believe in Jesus again and win a no, seat? No, that is why I've said when diplomacy fails, you try diplomacy first. That's like trusting Jesus halfway. No, not halfway. You say to naenda na hi barabara, right? But then ukifika kwa hi barabara wone mefika muisho na hai kupeleki, you need to switch the path. You know, there was a time, Mimi, uh, he, he put my vine in a very bad way and said I did nothing. Mimi ni little to swear again. No, the fact that I did not, the fact that I did not work no, no, does no, not mean that, that no, someone, someone did the work for me because there were those who had resources and they believed in me. So I did my part and someone else pushed for me and I very much appreciate those people to date. 
they did a lot of work for me. But even in myself, I can give an example of my journey. There was a time where I am, I am not easily swayed when it comes to decision. And I'm very radical. And I happened to, to be in leadership with people who are very corporate. And myself, I'm very political or radical. So when they are making certain decision, I feel like she agree. Not because your ways are bad, but I, I cannot work like that. That is not how I do things. And it resulted to a place where I was even taken to the Dean of Students, disciplinary case, disciplinary case, kila sa, kila sa, kila sa. And I was told now you are becoming a problem. And because of not agreeing. Yes, because Zombona webe tundo agree. Si watu wengine wamekubali, we pia su kubali pia. And I'm like, no, if I, if I give you examples, they are very lame. Because like, we are planning an organization, but the way in which you are planning things cannot work. For example, you cannot want a very high event that you want to charge to students 2,000, and the aim of the event is to bring students together. Come on, that will not bring students together. Yo, itakuwa, itakuwa bashi a cool kids campus, you see. Also, oh, basically, me, uh, mm -hmm. in this sport, uh, like technically, because most of the students... Um, Discrep nini discrepancies. Malalamishi is mostly about kitu ya kuduna pesa. So you are technically beginners. Yes. Mimi, I'm saying we do a small thing where we'll charge students less money and we'll have a lot of them because at the end of the day, what we are looking at is for us to sit down with a lot of students and deliberate our issues. So basically, if I don't agree with something, I'll tell you, you go ahead. But mutashind wa kuendelea because you do not have those people behind you. So that, that, at that time, you brand me as the one who is trying to sabotage your event. But come as he agrees, he agrees. Sawa. So na it na went... Now could defend. Huh? Sorry, sorry to cut you short. But he could defend. What are these benefits that wakati diplomacy may fail, you'd rather resort to violence? What are these benefits that student leaders get to warrant such zeal ya vie for those positions? Uh, people have visions. There is what people want to do in future. For example, I would want to be the women rep of Nakuru County in the very near future. Mm -hmm. And as I have told you, it is not money that got me to this position. It is not a lot of power that got me to this position. It is people who trusted in me. So the moment I betray these people, then I have, I have destroyed my whole base. Yeah? I am not expecting to go to Nakuru and why? Because I'll be having trillions of money. No. It will not be because I will be having deep state. The way he has said, you need to choose a path that you are following. Oh. There are those who deep state work for them every time. For me, the masses work for me. Mm. I go to the people and I tell them, Nataka Hivi, will you help me? They support me in things. 100%. 100%. Because sometimes I live and do events without money and people will say, Apa kuna pesa sawa. Now I'm show up. Yes. Bona deep state. Is the deep state necessary to win a seat in campus? Uh, the deep state in campus, okay, I don't know what happened to them lately because I, I still believe that, and, and this is respectfully, yes. that the new version of the student leadership is uh, uh, how I wish I would get a terminology that would refer to weak without using the term weak. But uh, I think the message is home. Uh, during our time, that is when Sonu, you know, Sonu, Sonu was the position leader yeah, in Kenya by then. Deep state accounted for about 60% of someone getting a seat. Of someone getting a seat. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I came to, to, to like uh, what, what, what Kelly said he was. He was, just, he was deep state. Just that he didn't want to brand himself that. But I can tell you, in Sonu, in Sonu they were deep state now. And the deep state were not just deep state in, at the University of Nairobi, mm -hmm. here in main campus. Those guys could walk outside Hall 9 and call for a demo. And within hours, that demo is happening in Mombasa campus, Kisumu campus, Kenya Science. They were deep state. And they were not running for anything. But if they say you are not winning, you are not winning, even if you have money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you need And money? if you, they said you are winning, you are winning. Simple to him. That's oh, and not just winning, being sworn in. That's the, the term. The term of forgetting. <laughs> if, if they said that, that you are the person you are being sworn in. Okay. Do you need the deep state to win? Like, 
do you believe if the students love you and the deep state says you're not winning, you will not win? So in this case, in campus politics, the, the actual deep state is among the students. The students. The actually. students are the deep state. <laughs> Their opinion holders yeah, yeah. just amid the what? The students. So you are, uh, if, if, if this particular deep state in the cocoon of students has approved you, then definitely you'll the do what? You'll win. So the, you, you, the, the only time uh, you say you, the deep state has not worked for you, in this case, not the deep state among the students, it's when the admin is against you. The admin. So the admin, there's nothing like deep state. Admin is admin. Admin is admin. Admin can be against you even if all the students are, are behind you. you. It happens. It's happened. And you will not go anywhere. You won't go anywhere. But you will you you'll win, but be... you will not be sweared in. So you said you cannot be in pro students and be pro admin. Yes, you cannot. But if the admin is not pro you, you're not going anywhere. But you can be both. That is another thing. Fellow, make, make comment you on that. You win amongst students. The deep state has approved you and everything. Yeah. Then now, once you've, got, you've, been, you've eaten the, the Bible, you are shortchanged and you're wondering what is... I mean, uh, you, the people you actually represent are wondering, is this the very person we, we, we took into office? Okay. Who are we working with? Before no. you comment, you said eaten the Bible. Yes. yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> what, and, and I think now that, that has brought the key difference I was looking for between uh, Onsa and so on. Uh, unfortunately for them, and I, I think that's very unfortunate, that uh, these people vote and then the admin, I think, has, has, has a say on who becomes what. In Sonu, it was, it was a bit different. It was not possible. In, in Sonu, and I remember specifically the, the campaigns of 2014, they were actually due the big balls campaign. They'll, they'll tell you that. The big what? The big balls. You couldn't buy if you didn't have the big balls. In 2014, I'm categorical on that year. Yes, yes. Uh, the, the thing was this. The admin, obvious has to interfere because the administration runs campus, I mean, runs the university. However, the, the, the interference uh, within Sun was very minimal. And actually, admin always got it way rougher. Because once the so-called uh, uh, the, the cartels or uh, the, the, the wise men, and these cartels or wise men are actually students. It's not like they are outside there. Of course, soon we had a lot of... Is organized structure? The wise no, no, okay. no, it's not. It's random. Yeah, yeah, but again, during our time, you also needed to understand an aspect that there was a lot of uh, interference from the national politics. There was a lot of keenness in what was happening in Sun around the same time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that, that brought in the, the gap that now admin could not interfere. If from the ballot, because the ballot was what we have here today in the national politics, you have to line and you have to be elected formally. Once you are declared winner, that's the term, once you are declared winner, the only role the admin plays is to ensure that you are sworn in, only. There, there's just no way in which they could uh, shortchange you because the, the, the consequences were dire. What do you mean dire? Tell us, what can you do to the admin? No, the, yeah, the, uh, I, I tell, tell you. Us, Bwana, you son, 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 I started by mentioning that that organization uh, was as autonomous as the police force. The police were armed forces, and then the students were the unarmed forces. We, we always, of course, had a, 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 a bit of tete, tete on the roads. Mm -hmm. So that was one aspect of letting admin know that their take of everything is not our take of everything. At the end of the day, of course, we, 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 we sat on a table. There were a few casualties, but we would always have tea on the table and come to agreement. What does, uh, what, as in how difficult, before uh, Kelly, as you prepare to tell us what it takes to be the president, what role does a vice chancellor play for the success of a university in terms of gelling with the university leadership? Leadership really, uh, really does a, a, a VC really play a major role when it comes to student leadership. It, uh, in the University running of Nairobi. Smoothly. Yes, running or running smoothly, smoothly. Of the school. Because well, you're dealing with people who want their rights, but you also need a balance. Yes. Because I'm saying this because uh, he mentioned being summoned by a vice chancellor, and Julisa, out of 100,000 students, umesumbua mpaka, we mwenyewe unakuwa singled out, saa kumi asumbui. He'll tell us that story. Well, back in the days, it used to happen, because I mean, even, even the, co the construction of Sonu is not what UNSA is. Uh, UNSA has, it, it's a devolved, it's a devolved kind of what, kind of leadership or government, so to say. Because Sonu, it was an umbrella. All are, all are led by one particular person. 
during those times. But I mean, currently, the, the government is devolved. Each, fa each faculty has its representatives. So the fact that he says you could be summoned by a vice chancellor picked out of the very many heads, it's because the, the leadership was had a, a particular umbrella all in one what? In one roof. But in these times, we have a faculty representation. So if anything, a dean of students plays a major role than what a vice chancellor plays when it comes to matters leadership. So the dean of students deals with students from various faculties. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Kelly, w before you tell us uh, what it means if one of you was bought in Sonu, um, what does it take, am I in your time, to be the student leader? Like, easy campaign, dogon dogo, sour. Unasikia hivile inasumbua ya just one position in nini. What would it take to be a president of Kenyatta University? You see, number one, we are having actually two generations here. They are having students association, while we used to have two students organizations. <laughs> correct. I've written the, that. A very now, correct. Uh, the uh, student uh, organization was a copy-paste of the national politics. Straight. And the national politicians used to have interest in, this, in the university politics. And they would fund them and have meetings with them. For what? The students. This Not to mean you know what's happening. Students, yes. But for the politicians. Okay, now they, they had a vision with these people. Because if the person you're funded won the, the, the seat, then of course they be, they'll be a John the Baptist. When is your turn? How can that? Politicians are very selfish. That's why I asked why. No, not okay, fine. Students. It is not politicians. It is yes. just because you're talking about even you are selfish. Now, the, everyone is selfish. Mm -hmm. I agree in that. Of yes. course, uh, a, common, a common example that people will always give that if we take a group photo right now, the photo is printed, presented to us. If you take that photo and something happens that yours is not looking good, that photo will be banned generally. My point is, now that Kenya, we don't have the politics of mentorship that someone would identify someone in university and acquire a vested interest and say, ah, this guy will be a future leader of this country. I refuse to believe that. It used to happen. It used to happen seriously. They would raise people with future expectations that this person will help me garner the students behind me. I got in that. So in those days, the exact thing you're seeing in the national politics is the same, same thing that used to happen. It, I have a gentleman friend of mine called uh, Samuel Wino. Samuel Wino wanted to be the president of Kenyatta University. And I can tell you, he had the wave. He had the student backing him up to the point that the administration got afraid of him and decided to do away with him. It, in those days, Bana, these people used to have serious money. They would go and hire buses from Gidurai like 30 of them, and fill them with the students to go from campus to campus campaigning. My friend, during campaign, but a public means would stop for students to pass as they're campaigning. What do you mean? It was the exact thing happening in the national, and there were goons whose works, who, I mean, whose duty was to lay hands on people, to deconstruct people. I agree that. Mm -hmm. Yes, is, it, is that not the truth, my brother? Yes, ex except that they were not goons, actually. They were wise men. <laughs> <laughs> now, and you see, uh, what he said. Now we are on the same page. What he said. <laughs> carry on. But what he said. Security see, and insecurity. These guys, <laughs> these guys were the oligarch of yeah. the university politics. There is nothing you can do without their approval. Forget it. And, what, okay, now that. I'm Sour. still talking. Let me back up. Let me, let me first of all, Rene, restrain who, who, that. Who elects the goons first? The goons, as you continue. The goons, first of all, now the yeah. goons, the, their leader would rise naturally because of the confidence. Then those are the true And the leaders. voice of leadership. Yes. Now, do you know these people, you have to appease them. They have to, if they don't approve you, you are going nowhere. And even the administration will do nothing about it. They themselves cannot lead. They, they exist. Now, they themselves cannot lead, but they will eat. Now, these people are even in the village. Right now, if you want to go and buy in your village, my friend, there are people who you have to appease. You have to be the same page with them, or else you're not going anywhere. And you say that's the same application in national politics? It is it's the same. It's just a mirror effect. It is just a mirror effect. It's just that that one, that one is, they're doing it in large scale. 
This one is subsistence. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you have it easier now compared yes. to the roughness uh, Akina Kelly and Don went through in campus leadership? Well, I feel like uh, Unsa, the difference with it with Sonu, there are advantages that it has, but there are also so many disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Because if you're running for president and you're not, you don't need the backing of the whole campus, you just need 39 delegates, then that looks a bit simpler when it comes to campaigning because you just need to convince 39 people, you see. Yes. But then it is also a disadvantage because you'll be a president and someone is asking you who is the president of University of Nairobi, you don't know. And the moment you do not have a following of the people, it means even in national politics, you do not have a bargaining power. Kitambo student leaders will call an askizwa because the moment I go to the CS education, I tell him help has not been released, you need to do it now. Akikwambia, I will not release. Then you will go and take all your students and come with them to that office. Then you will have no other option but to listen. But right now, the fact that you did not go to these people to ask for votes, one, they do not know you. Number two, they don't recognize you. Therefore, they don't even see the need of following what you are saying. You do not even have any ile following hauna. So the moment you're going to negotiate for anything at the table, you are going as, as an individual. So campus leaders are the original handshake merchants. Atia will not release help. You go back and bring the people. Yes, yes because it is these people who are being affected by help not being released. He help si yako, ni awatu wako. So kama ni help yao ujaleta, tunasema tutakuja kudemand sisi wote. Thank you. What does it mean, Iki to Gitaranga anasema, coming with the people? What, what, what are the deliverables? <laughs> now, <laughs> now come with the people. Uh, for purposes of this discussion, let me give you a scenario. Sometime in 2015, yes, uh, we we okay, we 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 were not coming in a bad way. Sequel <laughs> by so we we come here to to talk to Moshe Maringera. Yes. He's the CEO. Mm -hmm. So some of us we in suit, no suits were part of and parcel of what we would do those days. Yes. So we go there and the wise uh, men. No, 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 we are student leaders. Why wise men also always accompanies you. Mm -hmm. But yes, you are student leaders. Yes. So we go having a a tete -tete with the, the CEO. We tell him now, uh, it's now one week. Now students are supposed to eat chicken. But at the, <laughs> at the moment, actually, they're eating like chicken. Yes. And from the information we have is that you are the one who has decided. Mm. You that, tell, you yes, tell the we are telling this to Mr. Ringera that we understand that you have decided that comrades, 110,000 comrades of the University of Nairobi to eat like chicken. And eating like chicken means una randa randa, randa randa ring, looking for something to eat. <laughs> you know? Now we are kindly asking you, because it was around 10 in the morning, mm. that 12.04.59 just one second before you figure 1205, mm. comrades must come and tell us that their accounts are bulging. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Ringera says, uh, well, what you are saying is correct, but uh, no. So we tell him, okay, uh, you've, now, you've, you've, now, you've now decided that peace is one thing you really dislike. <laughs> so yes, we go, but we don't come with several of them, just a couple, a small, a small, they, they just walk into your office, they just start taking tea. Mm -hmm. They take over the office, basically, for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Then once you behave, you can now call us back that now we talk. Now, what <laughs> were you saying? Then we now agree that at a certain given time, we now need money. And yes, it worked. So the money came? Always. Yes, that is how they used to get their demands done. So easy with this bill yeah. that you do not have the touch base of the students. Yeah. It means you have to do a lot of work. When you go to yeah. your table, Mheshmoa kisema akuskizi akuskizi. After all, it's just you. Mulishiki wa wapi? Duale bill. Yeah, the duale bill. There was a duale bill that was... you did not see that coming. Ilipeleko 20... 2016. 2016. It was passed in parliament. Amu kuone kikamu? There are still so many petitions in parliament, but then the government had decided. Will that have passed during Sonu time? No, it was Passed during Sonu, because it, it, it was it, transition it between... The, the, what happened was, uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me explain. It, 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 okay, it, it's classified to have passed during Sonu and, uh, and the other time, because 
the government of the day decided that those organizations had to die. You understand? And it also happened at a very wrong timing. They had their best timing. That timing got both comrades, admin, admin and wise men. We were caught offside. Because this bill came exactly when, when, when the closing was here and it was passed super fast. So by the time we all ran to court and, and did all those petitions, the bill had passed. So we couldn't now beat it through court. It had now to start from a petition. So the petition is still on way until right now, but the people who pushed the bill got it correct. They, 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 were, they were a bit wiser than, than us, I'd say that. Okay. Uh, for you, uh, when a uh, university, do you have the power to call for a strike in the leadership that is the now? Cu the, the current, uh, yes. since I'm an UNSA leader. Mm -hmm. Well, I should say, uh, just as, as they've all mentioned, times have changed. Uh, UNSA is more of diplomacy, unlike Sono times. Mm -hmm. Son was, unatupea, utupei aya sawa basi, tunarudi. <laughs> Wanaenda wanaleta, back, they come with their people. Yes. But currently, as she also mentioned, yes. you are representing a very small group. Mm. And like the other times, you represent a whole university, generally. It was not negotiation. You are coming the first time. Very rude, I have to note. You are coming the first time, Mutisha, and then we will come back. No, no, we no, no. Be Actually, uh, before before going there, I want to I want to mention two key things that you that we were to say that I think you passed. Mm -hmm. But let me respond to that real quick. Mm. Uh, Sonu and uh, the other organization, uh, Kusa, mm -hmm. and uh, of course the others. Those organizations were purely leadership it was not it was it was not about being rude or being what kind of individual yes. but and i can mention to you today that if you look at the national leadership today about 60 percent of people who are in elective offices pass through those organizations as student leaders mm -hmm. you understand yes. so it, it it was purely uh, a grooming a, ground a grooming ground for national leaders. and one thing it gave you was 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 the 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 the, the, the mental toughness that outside was not easy. Because I remember when we, we, we were sitting down with the, the likes of Mushima and if, 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 you were, if, if it was today, definitely you're afraid. Because you're meeting someone that has a police and, and guns behind him. They're not talking to you. They're just, seeing, they're just seeing serious men. But you see, our time was, when you walk in, regardless of, of your, your physical statue, the information in is there's a student leader that is coming in. So whatever is going on is they're going to stop. They want to listen to what, what, what you present. It's not even you coming with a group of individuals. Mm. So the thing is, I think for, for, uh, for the current lot, uh, they, would, they, they would make better leaders than us. That's what I think. Because they, 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 their view or their ways of doing things seems to match the current uh, uh, time. But you don't have the bargaining power. But during, during the, 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 the lot that passed through us, that is the lot that we have today, sitting in the leadership. So maybe the next generation of them, there's going to be a gap because that generation could easily be filled by some of us and him. But again, this, this, these two ladies will also be in that gap. I now let, let me just respond to, to mentorship. There's something you mentioned on, on mentorship. I don't believe that Kenyan politicians... Uh, yes, that yes, is yes, yes. That is, that, is, that, is what, that is what you said. But I'd, I'd tell you that, and this, this was also an observation I made during my time in, in, uh, in campus politics. There was a lot of mentorship from people who were already out. However much that several people saw it as social interference, it was purely mentorship. These people would come in and, and they're like... I remember the big balls campaign specifically because it came it, its timing was was immediately after the general elections that brought in Mwishimuru Kenyatta as the president around that time the campus politics not just at the university of nairobi was so divided it was so divided that you are either in cord or in jubilee in, in campus, campus politics okay. mm -hmm. and i don't know i think it also happened in exactly. ku and other exactly. but at the university of nairobi it was that you were there was, there was a Kukwana story, and that, that, that seems to bring me to the, the, the original statement we started with that. Why are you good? Why did I come up with that? When the, my, 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 my definition of being good or bad is, is where you can't take a stand. That is, that, that's a person I have a problem with. If you're a bad person, be a if bad If you're a bad person, person you're, a, you're bad. Everybody here knows you're bad, so that they know how to deal with you. Yes. 
So so mm. so that they know that uh, the don is dangerous we just don't want to associate with him. Mm. Then there is this one Katikati who doesn't know he is he, a half good half bad some, some of the people some of the people some of the people I could not believe could get to those levels of campus leadership you told me that I think they are good but they are actually very good that is that, that is true and I'll get I'll get to that so I'm still handling mentorship and I'm telling you that there are several individuals that I can mention one of them is the governor of Homa Bay the, the current governor uh there's several individuals I may not mention names clearly but she 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 really did a lot in terms of identifying who when what and why during those times and uh, wherever possible she supported I also I uh, remember uh, I think uh, honorable but Jam- she was Jam- also Lake a campus now. leader so yeah, maybe she was yeah, coming yeah. from so background probably from that. but also I can also mention leader. individuals that I really think were not campus leaders during their time but still came in into into uh, uh, mentorship Mushimuburu Kenyatta being one of them there were several individuals that that he brought together and they are current leaders even today but they passed through campus politics through his support governor former governor Kidero This, this i'm just telling you that there was a lot of mentorship going on so, yeah for for interference could be and another thing you asked was uh, the role of the vc in uh, can you please repeat that now the, the the profile of a vc to make sure that uh, you gel with the students the, the profile the, what's the profile of a vc who ensures the success of a university by blending with the leadership of the campus and addressing uh-huh. the needs of the students but also not a pushover I want to, I want to pick it up from Frida Frida says that um, the, the 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 VC would not uh, the, uh, in the current structure doesn't play a prominent role. Uh, I want to say that during our time the VC played a very prominent role. There were three of the most important. There was the VC, there was the DVC A and A and then there was the 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 the, the chair of the electoral board who was also a professor. Those three individuals were Watara but let me get down to the VC and I'm categorical on the late professor Mago prof was I'd say that he was it was the first student lead and then followed immediately by by who was elected because prof had he had a hand in almost everything going on around around student politics and uh, one thing I had appreciated about him was his level of intelligence that guy had everyone planted including in your halls So any, anything you could do there in Lil Ham and he I, had I, spies in and yeah you, you can call them spies but I think they were just wise can I no I don't want to refer to them as wise men let me have them as intelligence yes mm-hmm. and one particular thing I tell you about Magoa was that the gentleman was ruthless you crossed his path you crossed the path of the students the convergence is Magoa mm-hmm. yes and I'd mentioned a couple of of times that he got very ruthless with individuals myself included yeah he would call you to his office and he, he was very categorical he would call you to his office at wee hours mago was the guy who once called us to his office myself and uh, calford marco biambo calford is uh, is one senior individual at carey at the moment uh, he would just send you a text just sent a text and said come to my office not later than 4:30 and i mean 4:30 am So you know for you to leave the student uh, hostels and arrive at the main campus by 4:30 means you've left here at least 30 minutes earlier. So you go to his office and the office is so big I think bigger than this slightly slightly bigger than this this room. So you get him seated there and the gentleman is big. He's so big if he stands here and you are standing directly in front of him whoever is here is not seeing you. All he's seeing is Magua's body. Then Magua says gentlemen you are not going to graduate in this university as long as i'm still alive he singles you out as an individual yes and he would be okay for lack actually, of a better word that petty. actually i came i came in alone you walk I walked in stood there and we were not talking just standing there for around around 15 minutes he's just busy doing his things you're just seeing him, him, him wiping his, his his weapons putting them on the table cleaning. what will he do with them uh, what will he do with them no i think the other prestige but again we were, we were we were we were in that level where yes our weapon was necessary so you just uh, do his things and then for around 15 minutes you are in the room you are not talking he's just there then he stands and walks down and comes stands directly in front of you and oh so you think you are the guy you will not graduate in this university as long as i'm still alive was that a threat or did he mean it 
I, I think he did mean it because several guys actually didn't until he, he decided that now they could graduate. Yes. So he could be in campus for 15 years yes. till Magoha says yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll come back to you on that. Uh, I was following up on a point now before we go to Akina Kelly. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever been caught up in a university strike? Strike, really? Since uh, I joined first, even before... Since these guys left, there has been left. peace. Yeah, there's been peace. And, and, you know, the last strike was in first year where we had lost a certain comrade who was found in Uhuru Park. Yes, that was like the last final, final serious strike, I should say. Yeah. The other ones, we, you, you begin even before you've moved to university, the central police are already there. So, I mean, it's never been as serious. Mm. Yes. And uh, as student leaders, mm. um, I believe uh, they are better placed to answer this. But what has your view been? Like when they have the power, and I believe Kelly will also respond to this, is it an inconvenience or it's a necessary tool to use to negotiate? Sorry, I didn't get you. Guess your question clear. As in, is the strike, mm -hmm. and in, as in, is it more of an inconvenience or unnecessary? Have you, uh, do you think the people who experienced it felt it as an inconvenience? Do we have people in campus who felt the strike is an inconvenience, or everyone in campus understands that this is a necessary tool for negotiation? It's a necessary tool for negotiation. That's why they said uh, they, it gets to a point you realize whatever you've been doing does not work. Now you put the like the president had said, when I put the Bible down, then we take the other route, you know. So it's one and the same thing. If you, for the longest time, you've realized that our negotiations are not working. You're not listening to us, if anything. So you, now we, we drop the diplomacy bit of it and now have to go to the street. Maybe you'll have to now to, to do or to listen to us. So of course it does, it does play a major role. It's very, it's, very, it's very needed. In the spirit of Kaende Sana, what is your role in Sasa Tumeka Bibilia Kando? Sasa Basi Tuende Na Nini? Now it's you mobilizing the students to come to the streets. That is what a student streets. leader does. You cannot go there alone. You cannot go there yes. alone. So you are going to the streets. Yes. What is going to happen to the streets? In the streets now, you know, you have to cause, cause they, 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 there is no peace. Peace has, has to be, to be dismissed, peace, kabisa, until we've been called upon Kuambiwa Sasa, we are going to do what? To negotiate, clearly. So you cause chaos as you wait for being called? Yes. <laughs> it's time so no matter how long it takes, no. even if it we takes We never caused chaos. That has, that has to be very categorical here. Okay. We only suspended peace <laughs> for a period of time. Let's call it There first. was no uh, uh, so, Okay, so let's, yeah. for the sake of this conversation, yeah. uh, peace, the suspension of peace, mm -hmm. how do you know that the suspension has been called off? Well, we have a... When you're tired. We have a joint in, at Klabu where we, we go to eat. And if at all oh, these people cannot even sell, suspension. we have to, every, whatever you come across, a comrade must eat, a comrade must enjoy. Throughout the time, even as we are waiting, what? To be called upon. Yes, so peace, suspending peace, in other, in other ways, is a comrade enjoying. A comrade must be enjoying on the streets. In other words, a comrade... Here, just here and there, running, hide and seek. And you're also part of... Mm. Yes, you have to be there. Enjoying. Yes. You wanted to say something. Well, you see, what you asked her, it is a good way of passing an information that is being misused. Mm -hmm. I get in that. Mm -hmm. Because of the certain things, certain ramifications. Now, what they call a strike is not a strike. They, 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 they brand demonstration as a strike. It is us that experience what is worth calling a strike. For oh, our new demonstration, yes. you guys experience strike. a strike. No, I remember What's one day. Yes. Now, the difference yes. is the kind of damages that are experienced. I remember one day when we had a strike at KU, the first strike ever. You know, I joined the same year with him. Mm -hmm. We joined the same time. A gentleman went to KM, which is our market, local market, Kenyatta University. After the strike, of course, People moving left at center. Then he went to the butchery. Is it called butchery? Where they sell meat. Mm -hmm. And he harvested a whole thigh of a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Landed on his back and took a few tomatoes. Here and then I was making a phone call to his roommate. Mm -hmm. Please prepare some ugal in advance. I'm mm -hmm. coming with food. <laughs> I get that. Now, out of this, out of this <laughs> strike, yeah. some, people, uh, some people got married under pressure. Because you get a first year lady stranded somewhere and you were also a hungry wolf <laughs> that was just parabulating endlessly and you happen to have a cube somewhere at KM. 
And in that event of trying to show the sugar-coated mercy, <laughs> <laughs> not, even, not even sugar-coated yes. mercy, but sugar-coated <laughs> whatever, mm. you get some, but others are, people used to, all kinds of things used to happen during strike, and I can tell you strike was not one of the best things so far. And it people, was one of the best things? So? Not, it was not well conducted. I can tell you for a fact, strike, university strike, bro, it was, it was war. It was not a joke. The, but you those look forward people, to it. You look forward to it. People, I mean, evil people would now blend inside and execute their inhibition to steal, do all kinds of rape and all kinds of things used to happen in that kind of thing. It's not a joke, bro. They would, they would go and vandalize all kinds of things and mess up the university. So you check, if you now check the kind of things they're doing, and the objective, they're not moving towards the objective. It was being misused seriously. And that is why the, the kind of losses that were counted after a strike was massive. That is why they had to do something about it. There were guys who would, who would actually organize the strike just to create an avenue to loot. True or false? Just to create an avenue to loot. Yeah, exactly. But at the end of the day, that's how the results in campus, uh, in terms of students' needs, were achieved. But you see, the challenge is that they trained students that that is the only language they can listen to. Mm -hmm. that, 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 unfortunately, they trained students that is until it becomes worse, that is when you can sit on the table. Have you ever been caught up in a strike in any way? No. Uh, they are saying ours is demonstrations, but I am not very sure. There was a time, I think I because was... Because you don't know. Yeah. Probably, but, probably. Yes. When I was in first year, there was a time, I think it is a comrade who had died, mm -hmm. but had uh, the allegations were that he had been killed by one of the security guards. So we were like, these people who are supposed to be protecting us are the ones who are killing us. And I remember that time the prefab hostels, <laughs> all of them were burnt down. All of them, Zilichomeka, and that was it. Uh, someone took a mattress from Hall 9, a Karusha Ndani office here, Students Welfare Association, PIO Ikachomeka, on all the computers and everything. That is sign language, your yeah, students. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Kulikuwa Nagoons who came, of course, they were not students. When the police came in... When you destroy property, you want to destroy property exclusively. When you see someone destroying property and they are not students, mm -hmm. you have a problem. Uh, yes, because this is... At the end of the day, whatever damages will be will occur, they will be put on the students, not anybody else. Mm. But there are goons so who are not students. So you destroy things on a budget? Um, <laughs> not really, but yes. whatever has to be done is yes. a sign of things must not continue in this situation. Uh -huh. It is either we sit down, and if we are not sitting down, then let the worst happen. We don't have a school here. Let the worst happen. Yes, so there were people who got into the hostels. There were goons from outside when you see your students because sometimes cameras and your face is taken, then your academic journey may shave. And nobody wants that. So sometimes they are hired goons from outside. At that time, that is what happened. But then when the police were called, they mud all the gates. So people were trapped inside, including those who are not students. So what did they do? They get to hide inside the hostels, and apparently the female hostels. So we will go up away when Mwoga, but then two goons have entered. People will be raped there. Yeah. People will be beaten thoroughly because we will kitaka ku piga nduru polisi wajue tu kwa pandani. Then we'll do anything to silence you. So I think it was a very ruthless time, but I don't know why for some reason, okay, I don't want to use the term enjoyed it because it will make me sound inhumane and, uh, but for some reason it communicated and something was done, the security was changed, the company and everything. And I felt like, oh, so this is the direction we are supposed to take if at all we want to witness change. But then now we have a situation where students are resulting into, let us try negotiation. But then is it really working? That is the you question. You feel like the needs of uh, yes. the students are not being addressed. Right now, they are honestly not being addressed because what is the worst that you can do? You cannot call for strikes. The worst you can do is go to social media. And then after that, what next? Things are not being taken care of. I think in second year, when the school fees was being hiked, UN was the first university that was affected with the fee hike. And so we planned for demonstrations, very peaceful ones. 
tukasema first years will not be admitted with that fee so on monday morning when they were being admitted tukakuja hapo and then parents <coughs> there seriously betrayed us the parents there say dawa ndo wale guns wa university tunaambi wangu wanafanya hatutasoma so they said are you the ones paying that school fees no we are the ones paying and we have paid so we don't know what you are defending for so that is how students back down because you cannot be defending people who don't want to be defended at the end of the day you are defending your parents and they turned yes because i was we were looking at it from the perspective of i have not been affected right now but then i might be coming back for masters some of us school even our siblings working here campus this is not the fee that we want to pay you see but then them they were looking at it from a very selfish perspective of we are just goons who are not interested in peace they were not seeing the overall goal of what we were looking for unapata jina yako iko huko kwa corporate affairs you are just going to request for a venue to do an event unaambiwa gitaranga we pia ni criminal na kuona hapa hivi You know but at the end of the day I'm not interested in being a criminal I'm interested in passing a message because even before organizing those demonstrations we d- we draft letters to the admin and we are saying these are the reasons why we do not concur with your decision we are trying to go to social media to the ministry telling them we are not agreeing with this because it is affecting us in this way and this way then they do not listen they ignore wanaona there's nothing you can do about it so that is when people resort to demonstration it is not the best thing students are not mad people who are in university are educated people you cannot wake up and start throwing stones from nowhere they need to have a reason so i will say administration and government should stop forcing people to resort to violence because trust you me we always try diplomacy first when it fails that is when people start looking for violence but now with the new changes you have mm-hmm. to accept that the student organizations have to live with being blue ticked by their organization and there's nothing you can people do people are going to get creative this situation is not going to go on for long it, it, it is uh, just a new system that people are looking for new ways of doing things mm-hmm. but i can tell you in not more than 2 years things are going to change that's the first mama kanisha thing you've said mm-hmm. from the time we started no situation <laughs> is permanent yeah things <laughs> are going to change people will uh, get creative thank you don uh, i can assume safely that there is no strike that you missed were you ever arrested please tell us the experience yeah wale mna kotangwa kwa barabara what happens huko mbele you know uh, the definition of being arrested is what i don't know what do you mean i mean a policeman okay a, 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 un, a uniformed comrade escorting you to their cells briefly to, to, to calm you down so that you guys can talk well if if that is what you mean uh, if that is if that is if that's what you mean technically then that happened a couple of times i'd say and mo, some in, in 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 some circumstances we ended up sleeping with them yeah, or in those stations mm. Um they say uniformed comrade these are these are our yes. parents they are our brothers there's yes. not there was never a problem actually between between the students and ah, the police, the police. more often than not more often than not the students were communicating <laughs> then the government decides to riot <laughs> understand <laughs> the government decides <laughs> to riot, riot. <laughs> we're just communicating that now a comrade has died and we are we would wish to know what are the circumstances under which he died yeah. that is now we are having a conversation here yes yes then you decide that because you, you are uniform both of us are comrades i am an armed comrade you are an, you are armed comrade you decide to riot of course i may i may be forced by those circumstances to respond <laughs> <laughs> okay. to calm the rioting yes. police to 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 calm the rioting <laughs> <laughs> So yes we did that. If you are talking about uh, are those damn friends maybe 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 uh, putting handcuffs so that you are they can be chill to chill. Yes, chill they can be done professionally. Yes, yes. Professionally. Yes. Takes you to their station. Mm-hmm. Greet you professionally. They can put you in a cell. They can communicate in some other languages that are better for for those in yeah, then yes that happened. And that was the life of a student lead. I'm telling you this now uh, without uh, jokes because a student leader you are required to represent your people you like suffer for like, them like you are the guy in front you know and, and let me let me bring this out clearly that's why you see babu wino still has a large following because the guy was always number one you understand 
Yes. Whenever the, 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 the armed uh, comrade decided to riot, he was always going to the lead front line. try to calm them down. And how do you manage to walk through, the, before to figure Kwame Dame, now this is for you coming up next, uh, freshers especially, defending their rights, uh, how do you manage to walk through your course now, Malize, Umalize, without being kicked out of school under those rough circumstances? Well, I, I, at, at a personal level, they tried kicking me out uh, a couple of times. Uh, Luckily enough, we, we were able to speak a language that uh, both of us understood. And yes, uh, we ended up out. But the Did you betray the comrades? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And what happens when one of you is, gets bought by the administration? Now he, decide, he stops being a student and joins the admin because we, 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 we don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> During our time, I don't know if they do don't, right now. Don, you cannot say that. Yes. You cannot say that. The administration is we, there our, for you. Our view was that an admin's puppet is Satan's puppet. And because <laughs> you belong to the devil, we can't associate with you. We'll, so, we'll, we'll always treat you how we treat the devil. The devil is one guy that I see pastors beat in a bibilia, they do what? <laughs> kanyaga, <laughs> kick. When, when you decide that you've officially joined the devil and you, you've communicated it formally that me, 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 join shetan. Mm -hmm. It then means that the rest of us have to try to get the devil out of you. How the pastors do it. You see, you see them. They pray for you. Sometimes they want to beat you in the Bible. They're trying to get... They know you're a good person, but now the devil in you. The devil. This is for you, um, Frida Nagitaranga. Uh, the life of a student, uh, and shout out to Ndovu Niku and um, Nani Gatwiri, we had a conversation with them about the life of a campus student, and especially for ladies, it's a new experience. Parents are now even scared uh, of sending their children to university, right? As uh, women in campus leadership or ladies in campus leadership, do you feel, um, is there anything like responsibility um, over the moral values of our campus students to ensure that they go through their courses safely. Responsibility upon us as their representatives. Yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, yes, we, uh, as a woman, in, uh, as a lady in student leadership, you represent a, a whole lot of other women behind you. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, the fact that uh, we understand that politics has its own uh, manenos when it comes to women. Mm. We face a lot of, 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 of strange and new things. Like? Much as we tend, we, we eventually win, we have survived a lot of... Uh, trouble and, uh, and that Give a heads that up business. to any upcoming student leaders. Yeah, well, of course, you must expect uh, men, to, men to want you to, to, to maybe give them sexual offers for you to do what? Mm. To earn a position. The, for, for, the, for, let's say, the wise men to actually say this, not, uh, let's have Mongare and not Gitaranga, then Mongare must have had some, some, some better reasons to, that qualify her as, 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 as to, be, to be approved and How not Gitaranga. That? Well, how do you beat the wise men? How man? do you beat the wise men? Yes. Well, I should say, uh, personally, I'm a, I'm a, I was, I, I've always been uh, quite a, a very strong uh, mentally woman. Yeah, and again, I uh, interact with them in such a way that I, I always uh, suit their hearts. I suit the wise men's heart. <laughs> so, oh, no, oh, no, no. <laughs> ah, carry on. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, of course, as a lady, a young person who wants to venture into student leadership, expect that. But now that's, that's by default. That is by default. <clears throat> Not only sexual offers, but of course, I mean, you'd, what, do we, what do we call it? Physically, a, a wise man comes behind you and he's like, hey, Mongare, you, you are running, for, you know, such kind of things. Mm -hmm. It happens. What do you do? Expel so them? that's why I said, um, being in the space for, for the longest time possible, possible, I should say I learned to manage. To act, yes, to manage that. To man, not to actually tolerate that, but you know how to like, face up, head on, nivi. And of course, they will tell you, mongare, mongare ni kichuambaya, uyo usijaribu. So of course, set your, set your stand, mapema. They should know, uyo msia ni kichuambaya, you don't, you won't do that and she won't, she won't keep quiet. She'll actually do what? Come out and tell you this is wrong and don't do it again. And if you do it, you know. And of course, that has taught the other wise men around them or the other comrades that uh, don't do that. Amid you coming out and saying that, the other people are like, hey, of course, this is wrong. Clearly, Frida has defined that this is, this is wrong. So as I was saying, uh, we represent uh, a whole lot of women behind us. And uh, we, we had uh, UNSA as an, as an association. It's just a general representation. Then we have now the special association, which is WASWA, where Gitaranga is the president, representing now the women, specifically matters women, clearly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so I mean, as 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 women and as young uh, ladies that are representing uh, the the other people in leadership, we play a major role in ensuring that <laughs> at least uh, the other uh, they, they can actually approach us. We must be approachable in the first place. We must be very approachable, and uh, we know a lot happens in campus, and we orient them. In first year, that's where we come in and ensure that uh, during orientation process, you're telling them this is what happens head on clearly. This is what you tell happens. them. You will tell them. You tell them. Kwa shimo alipatiwa mawaidha mwanzoni mwa shule unaona yeah so that's how we do it that is like where we come in the admin has to pick the few lady representatives from the associations come on board talk to these young women tell them the reality of the ground on campus so okay. we do that hiyo mm, kitu mbaya ni necessary mm-hmm. yeah actually I want to upload her i remember when she was vying the one was the chairperson of her team was a cu chair So he was kind of soft and people thought they would harass him. And well, for him not to be harassed, he used to work with the Frida. Aya. Is it what is good? Watu wanasema waachana na nguka. Leo Frida kwa round. Very you will not bully her. Alikuwa alikuwa kichwa mbaya. And how do you achieve that step by step? Well, I've told you once uh, you are uh, we are a couple of there is him, there is Don, there is you. And Don that tries to do something fishy or cheeky. You deal with Don. I deal with Don. To the rest that. must have seen whatever has happened, and they will know whatever Don suffered. We should not. Uh, we are. We are not going to be ready to suffer to be victims of the same. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you, message. Yes. Pass message. You need to prove that you have more to offer than just your just, body. Exactly. You know, the um. moment you sit at a table, you know there was a time, and this I can say categorically. When people were forming teams in Unsa because you need to seek funding outside for you'll need a lot of funds in campaign and sometimes you need to fund. So when you're forming a team, you categorically put a beautiful lady in the team. She's not there because she can lead ama she's courageous ama she's what because she's pretty. So that ukienda kwa ule mwanasiasa kuomba kura utaambiwa asuniachie huyo. Ala? Yes. And this lady yes, knows was, this lady uh, knows that no, yeye ni wa. No. Yeye yeah, ajui. Yeye yeah, anaona mnampenda sana. Yaani she's just she's no, being used no, as no, collateral damage. Ni wakufanyia tu politicians mimi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some, sometimes hawakuwa wanajua. Yeye yeah, she's there innocently anafikiri this guy alini single out among the team mindo niende na yeye kwa mheshimiwa. But someone else has a fishy agenda with her. There's a reason why alikubeba ende na wewe wewe haujui you get so what we did i i can say that every year when first years are elected i usually do orientation yes. and when i do also orientation i tell them this is what you expect this is what happens you know you can always spot those people who are active as early as first years and you can even tell them from the photos they post post this do not post this because people will use the tiniest things against you especially as a lady in politics people will attack you with your first year ex boyfriend for the rest of your campus life people will attack you because of a photo you posted in a booty shot first year and people will just say from the very beginning uyu ni wakuuza mwili And that changing a perception is very so hard. You cannot run for a yes. position with such a picture. Okay. It decompresses. You want to represent women kama mimi mm-hmm. woswa. Sometimes I want to wear minis nienda nipige sherehe but then at the back of my mind I remember I am representing ladies. And wewe you cannot be coming as teaching us about dignity teaching us about the right ways na wewe mwenyewe you are not doing it. So female so, uh, yes. campus leaders cannot exi- you have to choose woswa mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. TikTok. Yeah you there's there's a way you cannot just pretend portray yourself and we need to, the good thing is that right now they are being taught as early as first year before making the mistake some of us tuliambiwa baadaye after we've messed up hapa nayo ulikosea but you've already messed up these ones we are telling them as early you want to buy next year make sure you do this make sure you don't do this then we create platforms for them as well okay yeah. so so this for the gentlemen um don and kelly you said categorically first okay it's you who said but i think i want to pick it up with something don also told me you said you're not allowed to run in the first year at the un uh, don you say that there is a point where people are given an option like you either join the land of the living or the land of the dead <laughs> Why you don't believe in talent? There's no first year and kuja useme this is an Obama in the making. I I actually really didn't want to to 
to really address that, but uh, you brought it up. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll have to talk about it. But uh, just to echo on what these two ladies have said, just before I, I address that, there's something called basic decency. It's basic decency that keeps you in all spaces. Mm-hmm. Not just politics, yeah. not just campus politics. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I think uh, Ms. Bitorangi here is doing it really a lot in terms of, of bringing the campus the the, 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 the the ladies into this during our time uh, I don't think of course there were several organizations that were for women but they were not very categorical on basic decents because that is what brings up a leader now back to what you said and uh, this, this was a campaign strategy but again it was also real there was the, 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 there were no jokes when you go to the University of Nairobi you know that there is the land of the living and the land of the dead it, it's there any day every, every day Chiromo is the land of the dead and then the the other part is land of the living. So occasionally during campaigns, we, we, we would sit and uh, speak the language that you understand better. And the language that most politicians understood better was not English or Kiswahili or your mother tongue. It was the, the language where we could, where the church would not, uh, the church and the religious community would not like. Yeah. So more often than not, we would ask you that uh, now, Mali Mefika is now a matter of life and death. Where do you choose? If you choose to live, then get out. And I saw me. And I saw me. Go and join the good people. Please go and read. But again, I also have a problem with this, and this is also for parents. When you're living, when your kid is getting to campus, can you try to make them understand that they're out of high school, that they are becoming men and women? They're no longer kids and pupils. And you, you've seen, and she also mentioned it, I also wanted to put it across. You realize that there is a, a I don't know if strike is the correct term, let's say a demo. Mm-hmm. Or let's say we are communicating the language that the admin wants to hear. You will find that there is a group that insists on wanting to do what brought them there, that is read and go home. Then this group gets caught up in the melee of the day. More often than not, and you'll get me not misquoted on this, mm-hmm. these are the people who get more injuries than the rest. Because they're not prepared. They don't even know what's going on. They are underinformed on the same. So I would always wish that parents, when you're taking your kids to the university, can you now let them know when the day you get in the campus that, that now you are a man. If you are a lady, now you are, you're, you're a lady. You're no longer a girl. Now saying? you need to take care of yourself. You need to understand that there are dynamics that makes you... Because, and and you, you asked as how we ended up graduating within the story of this. My belief is that you are called to the University of Nairobi not to come and learn. No. Aye, you, are, you are not called there to come and learn, bro. You are called Aye. there because you learned. Ah. Uli soma do mano You are not called there kwa sababu unataka kusoma. Ah, bana ndo. Umesoma, sasa umeitwa hapo. Si si umeitwa hapo ndio ukuje usome. You need to get this very clear. This is one part we that many people don't know. Actually, especially parents that's misleading. Don't, that's misleading. No, I'm telling the truth. The and the vice chancellor will tell you. If, 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 if I'm wrong, they, 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 they bring it out clear. Mm-hmm. You are brought to the University of Nairobi because umesoma, ukapita. Sawa, sawa? Yes. CAT, ukuje hapo usome. And that is why we have a lot of graduates here when you have a casoma. Please respond to this before he finishes this point. Umeitu a university sababu umesoma, umeitu a university wende ukasoma. You see, is, he has decided to lean on one side of the pendulum. Mm. Yes, you have qualified to be there, but you're not there as a decoration just to fill the space. Thank you. You are there to continue. Because the thing is this, you bring... Uh, a high school dropout on the same table with a graduate from the university, bro, those are two different wavelengths. Because of, because of the mental wiring they have acquired within the four years. Now, the thing is this. When you talk about university, it's from the word universal, meaning many things together. If you only go to university and get first class, you are going to class, dormitory, I mean hostel, class, hostel for four years. You leave that place 
my friend, you'll be half-baked. And that is why most of them go there, class, and they go class, hostel, class, hostel, and come up with first class honor and still do not have the muscles to, uh, to, to, to shoulder the vicissitudes of life that they meet outside. So you have to be universal, open up your mind to learn from all angles by trying, going to clubs, connecting with people, doing many things. That is when you come up as a graduate. Otherwise, only papers, you're not fit to, to survive in life. You put it very nicely. Yes. Thank you. That's yeah. a great addition to mm -hmm. Kifunga. Uh -huh. The reason I would take my son to the University of Nairobi, and I'm, 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 I'm repeating this, is not that he's going to learn. It's because he has learned. Then the University of Nairobi has decided that Don's son qualifies to come here. Mm -hmm. Now, once he goes my to friend, the university, there is no vocabulary yes. you can use to convince yes. that. The thing is this. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm about to do it. it. I'm about to do it. Just, just, university is a reward. Yes. yes. He has, he has passed. For passing form for. And then they, they have decided. That. <laughs> now, now let's let bring the gentleman here. Mm. When I finally bring him for admission, I always want to tell him the truth. That one aspect of the truth is here, you are here to learn at a higher level than, than paperwork. So, so, here you're not here to learn paperwork. Actually, I'm, 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 I'm the guy who thinks that, that I'm, I'm comfortable with you not scoring a first class, but getting out there and, and being, being the man you should be, compared to me picking up a first class, and then now we are walking with it around places looking for jobs. You pick me out. Mm -hmm. But how do you achieve the, 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 the former? You achieve the former by, I'm not saying you shouldn't attend lectures. I'm saying you should attend lectures constructively. Mm -hmm. You attend lectures, at the same time you, you, you network thoroughly, you associate properly, and you take part in what other serious comrades are doing. Like if they decide to communicate with the government, you should take part in that. And just to pick you up on this again, you say that comrades who come to university to learn, wakikutana na, the comrades in uniform, they are the ones who get hurt. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Seriously? Okay. Yes. So you have to come up with a... I told you that there is no point that students can decide to riot. I've never seen students rioting. We decide to communicate. So if you... Then, as unarmed comrades, because you, have you ever met them armed on the streets? Stones have you ever met, met students? So stones are not ammunition. Let's stones go. only comes in later, when, when, when we can now no longer communicate. Don't use logic to, to cover hooliganism. That, that, your, your definition of hooliganism, I think we got to check it again in the dictionary, but my, my, my understanding of the same is, there is this gentleman in uniform and he has a gun, and it's his responsibility to protect everybody else. Then there is me in a suit or in my, my clothes. I'm a student, and I want to pass a simple information that, hey, By please don't, 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 don't have the school fees, bro. Simple, simple. And mm -hmm. I just say, hey, admin, please don't, don't, don't do it. I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. But you insist that, no, no, I got to have the school fee. So I decided that, okay, now that we are not on the communicating, because you are speaking English, I'm speaking Swahili, or speaking Spanish, I'm speaking French. Now, why don't we now speak a language you may understand? So, then we decide to speak that. Then, being that the admin are very connival, they decide to call their friends in, in, in uniform. That, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Now, now these individuals are communicating, but, 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 but please, then they hide behind them. Okay, is it the responsibility of the admin to do everything the students want? No. It is the responsibility of the admin to ensure that comrades not only stay in campus, but they enjoy their time in campus. They enjoy their time in campus. Okay, so, so Kelly, this is your moment. Uh, before to peane, one word, one word, one word, ya kufunga, <coughs> right? Mm, there's something actually uh, I, we didn't quite clear, how kufunga. What does it take to be the president of Kenyatta University at the time you were there? Is it leadership? Is it politics? It was politics, not leadership. Uh, it was uh, purely politics. And of course, you must be moneyed to be able to do that. You must be moneyed. Yes. There is no love that, in winning. There is no love. Forget it. Students that, cannot love you to be president. The, the thing is this. Uh, that vocabulary is not applicable in that case. Love. There is, what do you mean by love, my friend? Huh? You don't become Even the president the of... She'll tell you. They, huh? they can't be loved. 
the, the, whenever there is a contest had, in the are, church where there are pastors, she, she is a pastor, is a pastor, is a, and then there is a contest of win. There is no love. You see what he calls uh, no what is what he calls being a wise man. I look at that, which is which is a, a baptism of hooliganism. You have to be a hooligan to some extent. A polite name. Mm-hmm. A polite name. Oh, a polite name. Of yeah, course, that they, 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 it's a polite name, but of course we understand. You know. He, 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 Whatever he says, I connect with it because I was there physically. Mm. We were there in the same, same, uh, the same time mm. and in the same political atmosphere. Yeah. So, you first of all have to be you a very merciless person. Yes. There are, to, to win that. To win. That, you must be a merciless person. There are people who must be called for some special meeting aside, maybe at some wee hours of the night, mm. and probably be massaged. Mm. Actually, that violent massage. No, no, no. You you have chosen oh, okay. <laughs> to call sour, it so. Sour, sour. I get that. Mm-hmm. Yes, you have to be massaged. You can't. <laughs> you couldn't be a pol- unless probably you. But you you can't. You have to be ragged to get it, and you have to be moneyed and connected to get it, and you also have to be good spoken. This other you, side. You cannot succeed if you're not good spoken. This other side. <laughs> yes. Um, is it a good thing or a bad thing, my friend? The thing is this, you cannot go to politics and try to teach them with the Bible. They have their own mondus operandi. <laughs> I get that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they have their own mondus operandi. There's a different atmosphere and they, there's a language spoken there. Mm. If you're not ready to speak that language, go and speak your language somewhere else. Okay. Yes. Sawa, sawa. This is a special dedication to comrades and this is a show for everybody. Asante Sana, I'm so glad the panel that we had today is pure good vibes. We may not exhaust everything for this conversation, but I believe with the good vibes and how we were able to put this together, we can be able to put this together again. So comrades Tafadali, uh, share with us your feedback. Kituyote at Jakava, send it. We are happy to put this together again. Not once, not this time round, it will be a comrade-driven conversation. So that said, Kianza na Miss Gitaranga, a message to the comrades. Kienda. Uh, first, let me add to what he said yes. that about love. Yeah? Yes. There's one wise man called Niccolo Machiavelli. He said that oh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> in a situation where you cannot be loved and feared, you would rather be feared than loved. Right. You need to look for both. But in a situation where you can't get both, you would rather be feared than loved. Mm. Because it is politics. People will disrespect you. People will love you, but they will betray you. Everything can happen with love, but the moment people fear you, you attract a lot of respect and you clear boundaries properly. Uh, my message to students is that we have the duale bill with us. Oh, there has always been this debate of uh, what was so new, they did so much better than us, and now we've become weak and there's nothing we can do. We have the duale bill with us. Uh, there are petitions to do away with it, and we also want that because we also want to have a touch base, a touch base with those that we are leading. But then, is strike the only way that we can do things? I mean, let us have a reasonable nation here. We should also be propagating for a situation where let us negotiate negotiate with our brains. We cannot be resulting to go to the to the field every day, every day, every day. I mean, let us just apply reason. Let us have our brain straight, let us put down what we want in a clear manner that to skis where bila kuenda kwa street. Leadership has not become weak. What has happened is that ways of leadership has changed. What we should be debating is about are we getting what we deserve as students? So we still have a gap in leadership. I will not say it is perfect. We still have a very big gap. And those who are there, it is not about condemning those who are here today every time, every time, and shining to us and kutuanisha how much you did big things. I mean, you can, you can come in and tell us, instead of doing this, why don't you apply this other method? And we can tell you the reason why we are not doing this is because of this and this. We sit down, reach a consensus, and we are going to have very good student leadership because we also want to transition to national politics. How are the national politics right now? How did you people transition and how are we going to transition considering the current situation? Good vibes yes. and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Aya, Kelly? You see, um, I'm not going to speak on leadership in this case, but I want to address uh, something that is uh, 
very eminent in our universities, especially now. Uh, we believe that university students, students are the cream de la cream of the society. They pick the best people who have passed, good brains, to take for further education so that they can be well trained. It's quite unfortunate that the cream de la cream, the best of the best, do the worst of the worst when they get to the university. Something that a yokel in the village with normal common sense cannot do. Someone who did so well that we consider to be having the, the, you know, the, the brain, the best brains, goes to the university and the, the, the university that is supposed to make them now mad them and they become now the mockery of the society. Are you getting that? Uh, it's quite unfortunate because university, as you, university is like a buffet. As you enter there, you collect the plate at the gate. And through the four years, you'll be serving yourself. When you leave the four years, you'll see what your, place con your plate contains. Some people, as they enter the university, they'll be serving themselves alcohol, they'll be serving themselves STIs, sexual, all kinds of things. They'll be serving themselves all kinds of nonsense. They leave the compound, their life is so ugly that they can't ignore. Why? Because the mistake they did as they were entering the university catch up, catches up with them and messes up their life permanently. While well, some people picks up that plate, they serve themselves good connections, they serve themselves quality, leadership quality like this gentleman here. They serve themselves things that will remain to decorate their lives forever. It's my plea to the university student that that place can either destroy your life permanently or make up your life depending on the kind of choices that you make. Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful piece, Frida. Well, mine just to build, to build on what Kitaranga said and what he's also said, Campus is not all about books. Campus is a lot more that contributes to your graduating. It's all about the networks. It's all about the friendships you make in campus. It's all about the good decisions you made there and the, and the good groups you got yourself into. Not only the political spaces, but equally spiritual, your spiritual nourishment. Because I mean, uh, some of us have also hidden in the church for the longest time possible to also survive amid all these chaos that we're actually pursuing. So of course, campus is not all about books. It's all, there's a lot more that contributes to, to you graduating and we are now calling you a full package, a full packaged person. Then again, uh, leadership has changed. Just, just as Gitaranga had mentioned, times have changed and we are also maneuvering to find new ways to approach the problems that we are having in the current times. And of course, uh, there's a very big gap that mentorship is not as, uh, as it used to be. And mentorship not in the, in the, in the term of uh, handouts and whatever. Mentorship in the, term, in, the, in the sense that uh, you've been spotted. These leaders, what role are they playing? They won't be leaders for the longest time possible. I mean, in all our lives, years are, are, are passing, they are getting old. We need new blood into the system. So of course, mentorship should be in, the, in that spot this character. And how can you, how, which role is this that you can play and say in this, indeed, I brought this person into the leadership space and, and we are assured that even if today it happens that we are gone, we'll have these people and we are rest assured that they will do whatever it is. They will propel the agenda that we wanted to actually uh, go on. Before we close with Don, first of all, thank you immensely. Your contribution, this conversation has been way better than I anticipated and I hope uh, comrades and Kenyans in general will find, it, will find it to be good vibes. I've struggled with putting all together this concept for the longest time and Don actually unlocked this last week when I was vibing with him and finally he agreed to come. I was very worried about constituting the panel, like we have to have like all campuses represented. Shout out to every comrade out there in this conversation. It's not about UON, KU, Pekeake, Kilam too. Uh, for the limited uh, space to look now, we did our best. Now, Kamam Nataka, any feedback? Yeah, representation, ukisikia, kituote, we can do better. Please share the feedback with us. Don, Asante Sana, Asante Sana Frida, Asante Sana Kelly, thank you, Gitaranga. Uh, but Don, Tukifunga na wewe. Eh, yu, mtu wa kiongea na ya nasikia ni kama nyindi umulienda campus peke enu. Eh, tufungie na yako. Uh, I think first, um, in case anyone has that kind of, uh, of a view, they, are, they cannot be further from the truth. Every, every, every generation in, in, in social life have a way of doing things. So our generation was our generation, the current generation, and then there's one that will come after this one and, uh, and, and it's continued. What, what, what I'd say is that our generation, and I would still appreciate that we did things in a certain manner. Some of them were not appreciated, but they got the results that were intended. So I think they were not as bad as uh, the outside world took them. My message to comrades now, 
number one, you are not called to the university because you are to learn. You are called to the university because you have learned. You've got to get that difference. With that, you need to learn at a certain level that is not paperwork. That is, that is beyond paperwork. Exactly. Yes. And as another thing now, back to uh, politics, because that is uh, what runs the world. There is just a lot. Student uh, politics is just about 10% of what politics is across the board. But please, for uh, comrades, get informed. And if possible, lead. You can even lead inside your, your, your room. Yes. Please do lead. 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 Take a leadership position. Yes. And finally, the world itself does not want good people. Now, Thank you, you insist. I, I think it needs to shed light on that so that someone does not misinterpret it. Oh, okay. Mm. Good people in the form that you can't take a stand. You have and to good people stand. in the form that, 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 that when it gets murky, you hide. That's true. I, this when is... it gets murky, mm. you be on in front. on the front. I, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I've enjoyed this conversation immensely. And I represent our audience, and I know I represent and I speak for everyone when I say that this has been good vibes. Now, to actually a blanket Amakora's answer. In this conversation here strikes, different generations I appreciate. If comrades get hurt, God forbid someone uh, like loses their life, uh, who takes responsibility? The person who called the strike or the student for being a good person? None of the two, idea, from my experience. More often than not, there, is, there are people who are charged with, uh, with keeping a student uh, safe in campus. Whoever is charged with that takes responsibility. The person should ensure that the, the comrade throws stones safely. Yes. Or not throw stones, communicates. Okay, there are different circumstances surrounding death. Sometimes it is the security officers, sometimes it is a fault of the administration, but the ground rule is that a comrade is never wrong. Exactly. A I, I almost will never be on that. the wrong side. A comrade oh. can never be wrong. <laughs> In case, in case just by bad luck they're wrong, mm. they're very right. Kelly, it seems like you're sitting this one out. Mm, okay. Well, you see, anytime you're talking about death, there should be no but. Yes, it's something that you cannot put but in any way. I don't know whether the however that's supposed, that's almost escaping my lips is a substitute of but. Um, there are extremes that need to be handled, but not through death. Death, death is not allowed by all means. Okay. There are some people who, yes, they are in the cover of studentship, mm -hmm. but they don't have the same goal as you do. And they may veer off to do their own things, which may attract the attention of the police or the government. And that one should be handled differently, but not death. Okay. Oh, please, please, just one, uh, 30 seconds. And this is a disclaimer. Everything that we did, uh, or that students across are doing right now for their own welfare is good. Yes, for one. their own welfare. For the yes, welfare it's true. Always for a good students cause. Very is true. a good thing. Very true. Sawa, sawa. Mm. And the security forces, we really appreciate them. Even during this, the, 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 the normal milis that we may have, or we may have had, or that this generation will have, or are having right now, we appreciate that they have always, and they will continue to protect them and give them security, even as they communicate in languages that are not. Asante Nisana. Asante sana for sticking with us up to this point. I trust that this conversation was worth your time. I hope you enjoyed our content and I trust it was time well wasted. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Come how just subscribe. We have good vibes uploaded on the channel. We have good vibes coming through. Please hit the subscribe button and stay waiting. Stay tuned. Kabisa. Otherwise, I'm Dr. Kingori. See you on the next one. <laughs>